The film opens in a laboratory. A scientist injects a substance into a particularly huge spider and places it in a box labeled NASA. The scene shifts to ground control for the space probe Majestic 12, where preparations are underway. The tension builds as the space shuttle, carrying the spiders, is launched into orbit. The scene shifts to a senior college student named Marcy, a young and ambitious scientific reporter, eager to uncover stories that matter. She writes articles about her department for a newspaper. Marcy is running late for work. When she arrives, she finds two visitors already waiting in her office, claiming to be aliens from Alpha Centauri, although they look like ordinary people. They explain they were sent by a light beam. Marcy doesn't know how to assist them, but is eager to understand who sent them to Earth and why. She has always been fascinated by aliens and learns about a secret zone 21 in the desert where no civilian planes are allowed to fly, sparking her suspicions that it might be where the aliens landed. With the help of her friends, Marcy obtains a photo of Area 21 and shows it to the aliens. Their reaction surprises everyone. Marcy decides to urgently introduce the aliens to their editor-in-chief, Phil. Despite Despite their newspaper publishing articles about space, Phil dismisses the idea of interviewing aliens, believing them to be liars, and kicks them out. Instead, Phil instructs Marcy to write an article about the Solaris shuttle, which recently launched into space. Undeterred, Marcy, along with her colleagues Jake and Slick, sets out to find Area 21. She finds the subject much more intriguing than the shuttle's journey, especially since the aliens have identified the zone as their landing site. Meanwhile, the shuttle Solaris continues its flight. NASA communicates with the astronauts, who take a spider out of its container and inject it with a secret drug. Suddenly, things go terribly wrong. All systems fail, and the astronauts are panicking and screaming. The base initially suspects a radiation leak, but they are mistaken. The astronaut's health rapidly declines, with the pilot's face swelling up. He pleads with the base to allow an emergency landing. CIA agent Gray, overseeing the flight, reluctantly agrees. He is more concerned about the secret project called Mother-in-Law on board than the astronaut not safety. No one on Earth must find out about it. Marcy, Slick, and Jack arrive at the private facility and begin surveying the area. Shortly after, Marcy's editor calls and assigns her to cover an incident involving a spaceship that has caught fire. As Marcy, Slick, and Jack investigate, they witness the same spaceship crashing in front of them. Alarmed, Marcy decides to investigate further. She climbs over the fence, with the guys reluctantly following her. They find a hole in the hull and climb inside the shuttle, discovering a scene of devastation. The astronauts are scattered, clearing clearly not injured in the crash. A spider crawls around unnoticed. As they continue to explore, they realize the bodies inside have been infected by something alien. Suddenly, one of the infected scientists, whose body is horribly disfigured, jumps at Marcy. Despite their desire to help him, military personnel and special forces arrive at the crash site. Marcy warns her friends that they need to leave. They find a hidden place to watch as the military attempts to quietly clean up the shuttle wreckage. They quietly run to the back of a military truck, hoping to escape escape the area that way. Meanwhile, a spider crawls up to one of the astronauts and lays its larvae under his skin, unnoticed by the injured man. Two CIA agents, Gray and John Murphy, examine the shuttle. John accidentally crushes the spider. Gray hopes none of the astronauts survived. The military puts the injured astronauts in the back of the truck, where the journalists are hiding. The journalists stay hidden in a corner and don't come out. Doctors check the only survivor, who can barely talk. Gray, not caring, angrily asks him about Project mother-in-law, but the astronaut can only breathe heavily. The doctor says the survivor needs help urgently, but Gray doesn't agree. He gets rid of the doctor and decides to question the survivor later. Meanwhile, they take the survivor to the lab. Agent John Murphy doesn't like how things are being handled, but he doesn't dare to go against his boss. Gray decides to blow up the shuttle to get rid of all evidence of the scary experiment. The scared journalists have witnessed everything but can't get away. The truck takes them to the lab at the base. A big elevator goes underground with the truck. The military unloads the astronauts without noticing the hidden journalists. Without being seen, they sneak out of the truck and hide in a hallway. They don't know where to go or how to escape, which even makes the usually curious Marcy uncomfortable. Soon, the lab workers lower the only surviving astronaut into the underground area. Jake and Slick, despite their discomfort, follow Marcy. To avoid being seen, they hide in an adjacent room, which turns out to be a secret laboratory. Inside, there are flasks containing strange organs, including one with an alien 
Marcian embryo, the astonished journalists record everything with photos and video, confirming Marcy's suspicions. Next, they sneak into the main lab where the astronaut was taken. He's hooked up to an IV to stabilize him. The guys take pictures, which startle him awake. The astronaut rambles, but they can't make sense of what he's saying. He urges them to leave this horrible place, then spits out a yellow substance and screams. Suddenly, a giant spider emerges from his mouth. Scared lab workers hurry in when they hear the noise. The spider traps one in its web and attacks another before fleeing into the hallway. The journalists flee and hide in a room filled with strange flasks. The spider tries to break in. They manage to escape through another exit. In a panic, they dash down the corridor, looking for an elevator to escape the underground lab. Jake leads the way, promising to find a way out for his friends. Meanwhile, one of the lab techs manages to press the alarm button before collapsing. CIA agents and military personnel hear the alarm and quickly head to the underground lab. Trying to escape, the journalists find themselves in a cryo room filled with pods holding frozen astronauts, prepared for a mission that hasn't happened yet. The friends still don't know the terrifying experiments the astronauts are being trained for here. They fear they won't make it out alive. The CIA and military enter the lab and see the astronaut from whom the spider emerged. Agent Grey orders strictly that the monster be captured alive and brought to him. The military commander is concerned about the safety of the soldiers, but Grey once again doesn't care about people's lives. As the reporters move through a room with cocoons hanging from the ceiling, each holding people trapped in spider webs, they stumble upon an open cocoon and run away in fear. They reach a staircase and see a large spider web at the top, with the spider sitting on it. They hope to sneak past without being noticed. Suddenly, the spider leaps at Jake. He tries to fight back and almost falls down the stairs, but his friends grab his legs just in time. The spider bites Jake and quickly retreats. Later, the monster undergoes another mutation, becoming even more dangerous. Unaware of the spider's mutation, the journalists take a break in a hallway. They discover a room labeled with the mysterious Mother-in-Law Project, containing flasks of spiders and formulas for a dangerous vaccine. Jake hacks into the computer to find more information, while Marcy finds a photo of the alien who visited her office that morning. It's clear there's a connection between this place and the aliens, though they don't fully understand it yet. Jake finds out that the lab has been experimenting on spiders that lay eggs in living bodies. On the Solaris shuttle, the spider was given alien DNA, which helped the DNA to take over. They also find out that the spider's bite can kill humans. Jake gets scared because the spider bit him. He panics and decides to face the spider, running down the corridor and yelling. Suddenly, he starts to change and the spider attacks him. His friends can't help. Slick tries to calm Marcy and tells her they need to find a way out. They finally find an elevator and start going up, but it gets stuck between floors because they don't have a special pass. They climb out through the top grate and continue up the stairs. The elevator passes by them. They open the nearest door and the spider is already waiting inside. Terrified, they jump and fall down a shaft, fortunately landing in a net of cobwebs. The spider quickly descends toward them. They attempt to flee, but Slick gets trapped in the web and can't break free. Marcy manages to take off her sweatshirt and gets to her feet. She tries desperately to free Slick, but it's no use, and the spider keeps getting closer. Slick yells at Marcy to run. The creature descends and attacks him. In panic, Marcy jumps onto the stairs and climbs up quickly while the spider is occupied with Slick. When Marcy reaches the top floor, the spider tries to chase her, but she manages to shut the door just in time. Now alone, Marcy sobs and curls up in a corner, haunted by the last words of her friends. Their words give her strength, and she resolves to keep fighting. Meanwhile, while the military is inspecting the tunnels, some of whom have already fallen victim to the spider. Agent John Murphy is also searching through the underground floor and hears a suspicious noise. It's not the spider making the noise though, it's Marcy. He spots her and chases after her. Marcy arms herself with a piece of rebar and attacks John from around the corner, not trusting him. She gains the upper hand in the fight and Murphy kneels down, swearing that he's not a bad guy. However, Marcy is too angry and seeks revenge. John survives the initial attack and pursues Marcy again, trying to save her. Eventually, he disarms her, but she tries to break free, and they both fall into a flooded basement. Marcy hits John, who then tries to pull her out of the water. Suddenly, the spider grabs John and drags him away. Marcy acts quickly, using the rebar to fend off the spider and save John, who hasn't been bitten yet. They then run through the corridors, searching desperately for a way out. In one of the basements, Agent Grey catches up with them and recognizes Marcy. All of Marcy's suspicions are confirmed. Grey and 
intends to eliminate her to prevent the truth from coming out. John is determined to stop him, protecting Marcy but unable to bring himself to shoot Grey. Strangely, the spider comes to their rescue, trapping Grey in a corner with its web and laying a larva in him. John and Marcy seize the opportunity to escape, ending up back in the basement with the cocoons where the spider drags its victims. Marcy finds her friends trapped in the web, beyond saving. Meanwhile, John discovers a card that will help them use the elevator. When they reach it, the spider tries to break down the door. As the elevator starts to ascend, the spider clings to the bottom and attempts to punch through with its tentacles. It nearly reaches them, but John drops his gun, causing him to lower the elevator quickly. The cabin crushes the spider to the bottom of the shaft, and they safely reach the top. Their mission isn't over yet. They rush to the newspaper's newsroom to urgently inform the editor-in-chief about the horrors in Area 21. However, they find that Phil, Marcy's boss, has already been visited by Agent Grey. Agent Grey reveals his plan to inject alien DNA into all living things to gain power over the world and crush everything with mutants. However, he suffers convulsions and transforms into a giant spider, much larger than the one in Area 21. The monster rampages through the streets, killing anyone in its path, including a policeman who tries to intervene. People flee in panic as the spider wreaks havoc. The heroes find Grey's helicopter, which contains a tactical grenade launcher. John shoots at the spider, but misses, prompting the monster to head downtown. With the sun setting and spiders hunting best at night, they hurry to search for the spider from the air. They locate the spider thanks to a radio interception and fly there, knowing that gunfire angers the monster. As the spider climbs a tall building to lay eggs, Marcy, inexperienced with a grenade launcher, must learn quickly. She ties herself to the helicopter's cockpit and follows John's instructions. With only one projectile left, she aims carefully. When the spider tries to catch the helicopter, Marcy falls from the cockpit, but manages to secure herself. With the tank running low on fuel, Marcy finally hits the spider's mouth with the last projectile, causing a powerful explosion that destroys the spider. The friends rejoice and are proud of their success. Marcy wants to land and write an article about their adventures. And with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our video. Watch the next recaps on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.